huge thank you to my seven members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. In my last video, I taught you guys how to set up your VTubers. And towards the end of the video, I said I was going to teach you guys how to turn yourself into a VTuber at the click of a button. This is a request from my friend Chloe Ely. She's been wanting to set something like this up for a while, so let's not waste any time. How's it going, guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is The Synchro. Guys, tonight I'll be teaching you all how to go from this to this at the click of a button on your stream deck, your touch portal, or even hotkeys on your OBS. If you watched my last video, you should know exactly what to do to set up a VTuber for yourself. But if you haven't watched it, I really recommend you guys have a look at it. We're gonna be going from our beautiful human selves to our VTuber selves using a smoke bomb transition or any other transition for that matter. And guys, if this video helps you out in any way, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. Let's get this party started. So what do we need? So there might be a small issue you could potentially bump into doing this method. Windows has this strange limitation where if you're using a USB webcam or a USB capture device, you'll only be able to use that in one software at a time. If you have your camera open on your OBS, you might not be able to use it on VC Face. And if you have it open on VC Face first, it might not work on OBS. Fortunately, I have found a little trick to bypass this limitation using a plugin called OBS Virtual Cam. Download the plugin and install it on your OBS directory. It's going to ask you how many virtual cams you wanna install. We only really need one, but you can install as many as you want. Now, I know that OBS has its own virtual cam feature implemented in it, but the reason why we need this plugin is because this plugin lets us set a virtual cam on a specific source. And we're essentially what we're doing is we're turning our webcam in OBS into a virtual cam and then adding that virtual cam into VC face. Does that make sense? There's probably an easier and better way to do this, but this is the only way that I really know how to do. So if you know any other way of doing this, please leave it down in the comments. I would love to learn a different way of doing it. My capture card that I use to pick up my camera is actually an internal capture card and internal capture cards seem to bypass this feature. So I never really have this stupid restriction, but I know that not every person can afford an internal capture card for their computer. Once you're done installing that, let's head over to OBS. So in your OBS, let's start completely fresh. First of all, let's make a new scene. We're gonna call it cameras. Now go to sources and let's add a video capture device. Let's just call it webcam. And here we're just gonna add our camera. Now what you wanna do is you wanna record a few seconds of your background without you in it. Now go over to sources, head over to media source, and let's add that background loop. Add it to your media source and make sure that the loop is ticked and then click OK. Add it above our camera and just hide it for now. Now right click our webcam and go over to filters. And then where it says effect filters, click the plus and add a virtual cam to it. Once you selected it, just hit start. Two quick things to keep in mind, guys. Firstly, be careful with how many filters you add to that webcam source. Since we're essentially turning that source into a webcam that gets picked up by VC face, if you add a lot of filters to it, it could basically make your face irrecognizable and just ruin the face tracking. Secondly, whenever you boot up your OBS, you're going to have to go back into your filters and hit that start button again. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's a way to make that automatic. So yeah, just those two things to keep in mind. Now let's go into our VC face real quick. In our VC faces startup screen, head over to camera and select our OBS camera. Select your preferred resolution and FPS, and then simply click start. You should see now that you'll be able to run your camera on both your OBS and on VC face. Cool, we set that up easy. Now let's just go back to OBS. So if you watched my previous video or have been VTubing for a while now, then you should know exactly how to add your VTuber into your OBS. For those who don't know, I'm happy to go through it again with you guys. Go over to your sources, click the plus, and let's make a game capture. Where it says mode, simply select capture specific window, and the window that we're getting is the VC face. Then scroll down a bit, turn on allow transparency, and then turn off capture cursor. Resize it to your liking. But then we have these annoying HUDs over here. This is how you can easily get rid of the HUDs. Hop over on your VC face, click this tiny, tiny little square on the bottom right over here, and then simply hit space. And there you go. Now you no longer have a HUD. Okay, so now on OBS, we should have both our camera and our VTuber model. Resize your VTuber model so then it fits really well with your camera. So I kind of like it like this. Lock it so you don't accidentally move it and then turn on your background loop. And there you go. 
Now select both your VTuber and your background loop, right click, and then group them both. Now, when we turn off this group, we'll go back to normal. When we turn it on, we'll go into our VTuber. Now let's add a transition to this. And like I said, we can add any transition that we want. Over on my Discord, we have a bunch of transitions that you guys can use. We have some fire ones, we have a glitch one. The one that we're gonna be using for this tutorial, however, is the smoke poof effect. But if you wanna use any others, you're more than welcome to. Download this transition and put it in a safe spot so you don't accidentally delete it. Go over to your OBS, right click the group, and then go to show transition, and then add a stinger. Select the file and add it to it. Depending on which stinger you're using, you might have to fiddle with the transition point. But if you're doing the smoke poof effect with me, you wanna set it to 500 milliseconds. If you wanna hear your transitions, then simply change the audio monitoring to monitor and output. Once you're done, click OK, and now do the same to hide the transition. Now check this out, whenever you toggle that group source on and off, this will happen. Hey, how you doing, boy? How cool is that? You'll be able to go from yourself to your VTuber at the click of a button super, super easily. Now let's suppose you wanna add this to other scenes like your gameplay, for example. Head over to the scene that you want it to be on, then go over to sources. Click the plus button, select scene, and then add our camera scene to it. And then just resize it to whatever size you want. Now, whenever you turn the effect on and off, it'll go off no matter what scene you're in. So we spoke about switches earlier in the video. They are super easy to do, and there's so many ways that you can make a switch to turn this thing on and off. One of them is literally through hotkeys in OBS. Head over to settings, go over to hotkeys, on the filter, look for VTuber, and then where you have a VTuber oh. transform, you have show and hide, you set a key for show, and you set a key for hide, and then when you press those keys, there we go, and then let's change back. How awesome is that? To do it on your stream deck, it's even easier. All you gotta do is add a source switch and then link it to the scene and the source. Now, when you press that button on your stream deck, it'll turn it on. And then when you press it again, it'll turn it off. Touch portal is just as easy. Click on an empty square on touch portal, give it a name, leave it on unpressed. On the add actions tab, scroll down until you see OBS. Look for source visibility, leave it on toggle for scene. Let's go to our cameras the source, VTuber transform, save it. And now when we press the button on our touch portal, it'll transform into our VTuber. And there you go. Now you can turn yourself into a VTuber at the click of a button during your streams. Chloe, I hope this video helped you. I know you've been asking for this for a while, so I hope this made a positive difference for you. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape, or form. If you have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday starting at 4 p.m. Australia Western Standard Time. And I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. And if you guys want to watch some more cool tutorials and learn some other really awesome things that you can do on your OBS, then you're doing yourself a disservice by not checking out these two videos. Trust me, you won't regret it.